Josh had a card. Nice wigs, boys. Looking good. Are these the Jimmy? Are these the ones that light up when you go to the game? They are, yep. Yeah. They'll be all part of the Blatchies Blues. Um, I think there's about 12,000 tickets sold already for the Blatchies and they're, they're new and improved and they get the call of the game. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, all the Queenslanders call you a serial pest a little earlier in the show. Are you happy to, to sit with that tag? Yeah, it doesn't bother me, mate. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, uh, hey, boys, it's obviously weather-wise in Sydney hasn't been good. How's the preparation been? You've done a couple of sessions now in the wet. I think it's going to be a dry track on Sunday. Been able to put some good sessions together? Yeah, um, our training's been good this week, and uh, we're really looking forward to playing on Sunday. And, um, yeah, the weather hasn't been too good, but... Um, We've been working hard and, yeah, like I said before, we can't wait to play on Sunday. Hey, Fox, congrats on um, all your form, mate. Um, how proud were you being an Indigenous boy and um, seeing about five or six years out there? Uh, what was that, sorry? How proud are you being an Indigenous fellow and just seeing about five or six of your brothers out there and playing with them? Was it a proud moment? Yeah, very, yeah, very proud moment, mate. It's a very proud moment for our people and yeah. um, to have uh, six of us in the side, it's uh, pretty special. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, like I said before, it's pretty special and we can't wait. Hey, Jimmy, obviously uh, I'm a massive fan of Matt Pryor, as you are winning a grand final with him. Uh, how, how do you think you'll handle it and what's your favourite Matty Pryor story? Yeah, look, I was obviously stoked to see Priz get the opportunity. Um, you know, I've got no doubt he, uh, he'll play really well. Um, in terms of story, he's... Here's something. So playing, you know, footy for him, uh, with him for two years, never knew this. But you know, when he got named, Freddie asked him to get up and have a chat, and he asked him, "Tell us one thing about you that no one would know." And he said he came third um, in the New South Wales Rollerblading Championships <laughs> when he was 15. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, that's a bit weird. Hey, Jimmy, what, yeah, about, what about the fact that your Penrith teammate and the youngest bloke in the team, Nathan Cleary, has said, whatever you do, I do not want a room with Jimmy Maloney. Where's the respect? Oh, I don't know. I think, you know, he, he's probably sick of learning so much off me. He needs a break and he needs spells where I can just educate him. How good. Geez, Josh, you're really pulling off that wig uh, tonight. Looks, <laughs> looks damn good, mate. Uh, hey, how are you feeling? Now you've got one origin under yeah. the belt. Are you feeling more confident going into your second? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident, but uh, it's all about preparation for me and getting ready for the game. And um, Yeah, there's, like, like, uh, like you said, there's um, a lot of, lot of expectations, but I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Hey, Jimmy, uh, obviously been 11 uh, debutants last, last, last week. In game one, you're a senior player now, mate. How much responsibility has Freddie given you? Yeah, look, I think there's a few of us there. Obviously, Clem, Frizz, uh, Boydo, our captain, and me have probably got uh, the experience. And, you know, I suppose we've had to take leadership roles and probably, you know, help these guys understand, you know, what was coming in the lead up to the first one. And now they've experienced it, probably just. Um, you know, make sure they all understand that it's all going to go up a, another level again. So uh, we've been trying to do that, um, trying to, you know, give them little tips here and there about, you know, what to expect, how to do things. And um, they've all handled the occasion really well and hopefully they can all uh, go even better game too. Hey, Jimmy, can you tell us what you had for dinner? There's just... I had for dinner. Why is it still on my face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, just, there's just a lot of talk about your short-term memory and I'm just trying to test it out. They reckon in games you can put things behind you and move on pretty quickly. Sorry, what was the question there? <laughs> oh, he's good. Hey, Too he good. made me a promise, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Maloney made us a promise on 100% footy yep. that he would only have try assists for New South Wales this game. <laughs> but he's made, he's made everyone the promise. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and keep me word. <laughs> hey, a final one from you, Jimmy, before we let you go. Uh, Nathan Cleary, how's he going? And obviously, uh, with the experience of game one, uh, looking forward to seeing him going out there uh, at ANZ on Sunday night. Yeah, look, really exciting. Um, he, he's been really good. Nothing, nothing phases Nath. He goes about his business, and uh, I think he's ready to have another big one. And um, you know, I think it's exciting for all the boys. That look, it's obviously great to have played a game at the MCG, such an iconic ground. But 
um, to run out in front of the Blatchies Blues and a, you know, a PAX uh, ANZ Stadium. That's something special as a New South Welshman. So, um, yeah, I think they're all looking forward to that and um, yeah, bring on Sunday.